So in this video, I'm going to install Zorin in a laptop computer. So this is a Zorin website. And there's a lot of information on this site. So I'll click on help. So here it tells you the system requirements to install Zorin. So this is the minimum requirements, the CPU, the RAM, the storage, the display. I'll click on download Zorin. Now there's a pro version and this is a paid version and the cost of it is $48. There's a Zorin call and this is for basic use. This is free and the one for education, it's free. So I'm going to install the one for education. So the Zorin for education will include a lot of free software designed for schools and students. So I'll click download. So the size of the ISO file is 6.6 .6 gig. So I'm going to be using Rufus to create the bootable USB drive. So this is the Rufus website. I'm going to download the Rufus EXE file. So I have the Rufus EXE file and the Zorin ISO file. So I'm going to open Rufus. So the size of the USB drive I'm using is 16 gigabytes. So I'm going to click select. I'm going to browse for the Zorin ISO file. Select it, click open, click start, click OK and click OK again. So the version of Zorin I'm downloading and installing is 17.1 and this is the latest version. So the bootable USB drive was created and now I'm going to take that USB drive and boot up the laptop. So this is the BIOS of the laptop. So temporarily I'm going to disable secure boot and after installation I will re-enable secure boot. So I'm going to restart the computer. So I'm going to boot from the USB, hit enter. Okay, I'm going to select the first option, try or install Zorin OS. So this is the install menu. Under welcome, you can choose whatever language you would like. I'm going to leave it as English. I'm going to click on install Zorin. So this is a keyboard layout and here you can choose your keyboard layout. You can choose the language. So I'm going to leave it as English, US, click continue. So you can connect to your wireless. So the laptop that I'm installing Zorin in is connected to the internet via Ethernet cable. So I'm going to select, I don't want to connect to your Wi-Fi network right now. Click continue. So this is updates and other software. So you can select the first option and this will download updates while installing Zorin. So this saves time after installation. So I'm going to leave it checked. Here is also don't participate in the census. I'm going to check that also. I'll click continue. So this is the installation type. So the laptop that I'm using has a previous installation of Windows. So I have three options here. Install Zorin OS alongside Windows Boot Manager. The second option is erase disk and install Zorin. And the third option is something else. And this is where if you want to resize a partition or you can choose multiple partitions. I'm going to select erase disk and install Zorin OS. I'll click install. So it says here, write the changes to disk. So if you continue, the changes listed below will be written to the disk. Otherwise, you'll be able to make full of the changes manually. And it gives you a warning. This will destroy all the data on any partition in the hard drive. So I'm going to click continue. So on this page, you just have to type where you located. So it already detected that I'm in New York. And if you want to change the location, you can drag this red dot here. And you can also type the city here. For example, Toronto. So I'm going to click continue. So on this page, you can type your name. You can type a computer name, pick a username, choose a password and confirm password. So I'm going to type the name. I'm going to type John. Computer name, I'm going to change that. I'm going to type Lenovo. The username, I'm going to leave it as John. I'm going to type the password. I'll retype the password. For this demonstration, I'm typing a short password, but you can type a longer secure password. So there are two options here, log in automatically or require my password to log in. So if you want to log in automatically, you can check the first option. I'm going to check require my password to log in. I'll click continue. So it's installing the Zorin operating system.
So the stairs installation is complete. I'm going to click on restart now. Okay, so I'm going to remove the USB drive and hit enter. So I'm going to log in. So this is the Zorin start menu. So there's education here, and these are all the apps. There's games. These are all the graphic apps. So there's Office and LibreOffice is installed. There's Science. There's Sound and Video. There's System Tools. I'll click on Settings. So you can connect to our Wi-Fi. This is a network connection. There's Bluetooth. You can change the background settings here. You can configure notifications here. These are the list of applications. There's privacy. There's online accounts, and you can configure these online accounts, such as Google, Microsoft. There's sharing, there's sound, and you can configure your sound settings here with the microphone and speakers, and you can configure the alert sound here. This is the default, and these are some other songs. This is the power settings. This is the display settings. So in the display settings, you can have a secondary monitor. This is the mouse and touchpad settings. This is the keyboard settings. So here you can add printers. So it's already detecting some of the printers in the network. I'll click add printer. And here you can type the IP address of the network printer. And this is the color settings. So this is the region and language settings. And you can configure the settings here. You can choose the format for numbers, dates, and currencies here. This is the accessibility settings. There's a screen reader. It's a read reader. Uh, it's a read reader. So here you can add more users. You just have to click on unlock. Type the password. Then click add user. And you can add a standard or administrator user. This is default application settings. So if you have more than one web browser, you can select it here. There's only Firefox right now installed. There's mail, there's calendar. Under music, you can choose Audacity, a rhythm bar. This is the date and time settings. This is about. So this is a files manager folder. This is the software app. So there's the updates tab, install tab, and explore. So on the updates tab, the operating system is up to date. I'll click on installed. So these are all the installed apps and you can uninstall any one of these just by selecting uninstall. So if you want to install more apps, you can just click on the search icon here and type the name of the app. So I'm going to download Google Chrome. I'll type Chrome. I'll click on download now. Click on download Chrome. So I'm going to select the first option. Click accept and install. So this is the file. I'm going to double click on it. So it says here choose an application to open the file. Google Chrome. I'm going to select software install. Click open. I'll click on install, type the password. And it's installing. So it's installed. I'll click open. Click OK.
So on the lower right side, there's a clock, and you can configure the settings here. So here you can configure your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, adjust the sound and brightness. I'll right-click the desktop, and I can create a new folder, a new document, arrange icons. I can arrange by, show desktop and files, open terminal. I can change background, change display settings, and select settings. So in this video, I installed Zorin.1, and this is the educational version. So this is the laptop specs that I installed Zorin in. The memory, there's only 8 gigabytes of memory. This is the CPU. Size of the hard drive is 256. So I want to thank you for watching, and I want to thank you for subscribing.